Hello, my name is Zev Gershon. I'm a physician and an attorney practicing medical malpractice law, specifically concentrating in cerebral palsy cases. I'd like to discuss microcephaly today. The term micro means small, and ceph, C-E-P-H, refers to the head. Microcephaly, when referring to cerebral palsy cases, can be an acquired condition at birth. What do I mean by that? That is, the baby can be developing during labor, uh, during the nine months, if you will, perfectly fine. And physicians can look at ultrasounds during the nine months and see that the hands, the legs, the feet, uh, the abdomen, and specifically the baby's brain is all developing in proportion nicely during the pregnancy. However, a hypoxic ischemic insult, that is, lack of oxygen or lack of blood flow during labor and delivery, will cause the brain to take a big insult. And that insult will not allow the brain to grow normally anymore and will fall off the growth curve later in life. This condition of acquired microcephaly is useful to help time an injury if it occurs during labor and delivery. That is, kids who have hypoxic and ischemic encephalopathy or lack of oxygen and blood flow to their brains during labor and delivery will almost always be born with a normal head size and later on in life their head or brain will fall off the growth curve and they will have acquired microcephaly.